exhale, C position, A, come inhale, spread your arms, and away, exhale, interlock the fingers, straight arms behind your back, again, inhale, trainee, exhale, fold forward, relax the shoulders towards the ground, avoid pulling, tightening, or squeezing too much with the fingers, instead, simply let the shoulders find their space of release, Gazing at the nose tip, leaning gently forward with the hips. Calming the mind, only when you're ready. Flipping the grip so you can bend your elbows, moving into a deeper internal rotation of the shoulders, spreading the shoulder blades away from each other. Calm, even pace of your breath. Chatwari, inhale, come all the way up and exhale. Hands to your waist. E, come inhale, make space between the ribs and the hips. And away, exhale, fold forward. Wrap your fingers around your big toes. Straight arms, again, inhale. Trainee, exhale, fold forward. Top of the head towards the ground. Elbows point up to the ceiling. Drawing the belly deeply in. Slide the torso between the thighs. Lift your kneecaps. Press your weight down into the bases of your big toes. Lifting your toes slightly off the ground. Keep your arms engaged. Let the mind remain calm, even, steady, and equanimous. Chatwari, inhale, straight arms, exhale. Pancha, inhale, come on back up, place your hands on your waist. Samasthitihi, come on back up to the front. Parjvotanasana, hands in prayer behind your back. Find that place where the heels of the hands press into each other. Ekam, inhale, step out to the right side, squaring your hips. Dway, exhale, send your sternum down to your right knee as you pull the pubic bone back. As much as you fold forward, pull back into the inner space of the pelvis. Shift your weight a little bit forward towards the right foot to create a sense of evenness in your pelvic bowl. Press the heels of the hands to each other and lift the elbows slightly. Gaze forward towards your right toes. Trini, inhale, come up, pivot your feet. Move over to the left side. Chatwari, exhale. Fold your sternum down to your left knee, pressing the heels of the hands into each other, gently lifting the elbows. Feel your torso release down over your left thigh, while at the same time, you pull back into the emptiness of the pelvic bowl, making space behind your left hip joint, making space by sucking the belly as deeply in as possible, making space behind the pubic bone, Keeping the legs strong. Pancha, inhale, come up, release your hands. Samasthitihi, come on back up to the front. Now on to the balancing poses. Utita Hasta Padangustasana, hands onto your waist, right arm reaches out. A, come inhale, right leg lifts, hold on to your right big toe. Dwe, exhale, fold your sternum forward to your right knee, maintaining balance. Traditionally, the gaze is forward to the toes, but if you lose your balance, just look at a spot on the ground. Pull your right hip back. Trini, inhale, come up. Chatwari, exhale, externally rotate your right hip joint, move over to the side. Switch your gaze slightly to the left, maintain balance by pressing into the base of your left big toe, the left little toe, and the heel. Straighten your leg, finding the center line. Pancha, inhale, slowly bring your leg back to the center. Shut, exhale, fold forward. Sapta, inhale, lift your head, release your foot, hands to your waist. Lifting the leg for five breaths. Pull your hip back, use your lower abs, gaze at your toes and talk to your toes. Yes, you can, you can keep it up. Exhale, come on back to Samasthitihi. Let's go for the left side. Ash, so inhale, left leg, pulling the left hip back. Nava, exhale, fold your sternum towards your knee. Staying here for five breaths, maintaining a sense of balance, first and foremost. Balance comes with a calm mind as you pull that hip back. Dasha, inhale, head up. A Kadusha, exhale, bring the leg out to the side through an external rotation of your left hip joint. Switch your gaze slightly to the right. You could even look over your right shoulder. Belly sucks deeply in. Maintain balance with your center of gravity deep in your pelvic bowl. Calming the mind, tuning into the inner body. Dwadisha, inhale back to the center. Trayogdisha, exhale, fold forward. Chikturdisha, inhale, come up. Hands to your waist, balance. Gaze at your left toes, pull that hip back. Suck in the low belly, engage the lower abs. Talk to your toes, you can do it. Come on, stay up, don't give up. Exhale, samasthitihi, good job.
Ardha Baddha Padmottanasana. A come inhale, right leg moves into half lotus position. Bind your foot by reaching around your back. Dwe exhale, take your left hand to the floor, aligning your fingers and toes. Chin to the shin, gaze forward towards your left toes. Draw the belly deeply in and pull the pelvic bowl back and away from your lotus foot. Let your balance be established from an even distribution of weight through the pelvic floor. Trini, inhale, look up, exhale. Chatwari, inhale, slowly come all the way back up. And Pancha, exhale, Samasthitihi, left side. Shot, inhale, left leg, half lotus position. Reach the left hand to the left foot behind the back. Sapta, exhale, fold forward, spiraling through the inner body as you lift the rib cage up and over your lotus foot. If possible, chin to the shin, gazing forward. Five deep breaths. Keep your balance through your center of gravity. Balance deep through the inner body. Ashto, inhale, look up and forward. Exhale, firm the pelvic floor. Nava, inhale, come on back up. Samasthitihi, back to standing. A, come inhale, raise your hands, gaze up at the thumbs. Dwe, exhale, fold forward. Trini, inhale, look up. Chatwari, exhale, jump back to Chaturanga Dandasana as you bend your elbows lower down. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shut, exhale, downward facing. Utkatasana, Sapta, inhale, jump forward, bending the knees deeply into the body as you sink into the hips and raise your hands following the center line of the body. We'll stay here for five breaths, sinking deep into your hip joints, squeeze your knees into each other, gaze up to the thumbs. Regulate the pace of your breath, calm, even, steady pace of your breath. Feel and activate the thighs, sink into your hips, exhale down. Ashto, inhale, pick it up by moving your shoulders forward. Nava, exhale, jump back, chaturanga. Dasha, inhale, upward facing. A, kadisha, down. Right side, warrior one, virapadrasana, A, sapta, inhale, come forward. We'll stay here for five breaths. Look up to the thumbs. Stack the ribs over the hips, hands over the shoulders. Eventually moving your right thigh towards parallel with the ground. Calm, even pace of your breath. Feel the strength and solidity of the legs underneath you. Inhale. Ashto, exhale, left side. Virabhadrasana A, pivoting over to the left side. Aligning the hips forward. Track that left knee over the left ankle. Gaze up to the fingers. Belly sucks deeply in. Inhale. Nava, exhale, warrior two, left side. Spread your arms, equalize the sitting bones. Look over to your left fingers. Calm, even pace of your breath. Belly sucks as deeply in as you can. Lifting the ribs away from the hips, inhale. Dasha, exhale, pivot over to the right side. Spread your arms, remember that back left arm and equally lift it, keeping your gaze at the right fingers. Calm, even, steady pace of your breath. Belly sucks as deeply in as you can. Exhale, hands down. Ekadisha, inhale. Dwadisha, exhale, chaturanga. Trayog, disha, inhale, upward facing. Chiktur, disha, exhale, downward facing. Prepare for the seated poses. Sabda, inhale, jump all the way forward, coming through to seated. Dandasana position. Hands next to the hips, chin down. Moving the sitting bones so that they make contact with the ground. Flex the feet, bases of the big toes together. Chin down, gaze at the nose tip. Keep sucking the belly as deeply in as possible. Calming the mind. Rooting your attention down into the inner body. Dandasana, like seated samasthitihi, is a neutral resting point to begin every seated pose. From here, we're moving on to Pashimatanasana. Look forward, hold on to your big toes. Ashto, inhale, straighten the arms, suck in the belly, make space. Nala, exhale, fold forward. Suck in the belly, pivot in through the hips. Let the shoulders relax and open. Avoid pulling too hard with the arms. And instead, simply regulate your breath. Make space. 
by sucking in from the low belly. Dasha, inhale, straight arms, deepen your grip, holding the wrist if that's accessible. Asha, inhale, Nava, exhale, fold. For this one, we can try chin to the shin, but if it ever strains your neck, just drop the chin under. Gazing forward to the toes only when that's comfortable for you. The legs are engaged, the belly sucks as deeply in as possible. Slow, steady pace of inhalation. Dasha, inhale, straight arms, exhale. Hands to the ground, cross your feet. Ekadisha, inhale, take it up. Dwadisha, jump back. Trayog, disha, inhale. Chiktur, disha, exhale. Purva, tanasana, sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. This pose is also sometimes called reverse plank. Take your hands back behind you. Ashto, inhale, take the hips up and forward, toes are on the ground, internal rotation of the hip joints. Lift the chest and keep the belly sucked as deeply in as possible. Nava, exhale down. Cross your feet. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Ekadisha, jump back, go down. Dwadisha, inhale, upward facing. Trayogdisha, exhale, downward facing. Ardhabhada Padma Pashimatanasana. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Right leg folds into half lotus position. Prepare by binding the right foot with the right hand, left foot to the left hand. Inhale, prepare. Ashto, exhale, fold. Move your sternum down towards the left knee and suck the belly in. Gaze forward towards your left toes. Remember to keep that left leg as engaged as possible. Keeping the belly drawn in, dropping that right shoulder into internal rotation. Make peace with wherever you are. Don't fight with your body. Accept however deeply or not so deeply you got into the pose. Nava, inhale, come on up. Exhale, hands to the ground. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Ekadasha, jump back. Dwadasha, inhale. Trayog disha, exhale. Moving on to the left side. Chektur disha, inhale. Jump all the way forward and through. Bending your left knee, close the knee joint, spiral, external rotation into lotus position. Left hand to the left foot, right hand to the right foot. Pancha disha, exhale, fold forward. Keep the belly drawn as deeply in as possible. Making space behind the pubic bone. Lift the rib cage up and over your lotus foot. Tuning deeply into the inner body. Avoid pulling or forcing the body. Simply breathe and be. Shodisha, inhale. Exhale, hands down. Sapta disha, inhale, take it up. Asta disha, jump back. Ekuna vim shatihi, inhale. Vim shatihi, exhale. Tirdiang mukekapara pashimatanasana. Sapta, inhale, jump forward. If it's accessible, moving directly into the pose. Bend the right knee back, holding your wrist, straight arms. Ashto, exhale, fold. Internally rotating both hip joints allows you to enter this pose safely. Think about pulling your right hip joint back and moving deeply into the inner body. Feel a sense of deep inner connection. Never look for perfection, but simply build deep mindful awareness. Nava, inhale, straight arms, exhale. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Ekadasha, jump back. Dwadasha, inhale. Trayog, disha, exhale. Left side, chiktur disha, inhale, jump your hips over your shoulders and prepare to come all the way through for the left side. Wrap your hands around your right foot, inhale, pancha disha, exhale, fold. Keep your right leg engaged, spreading your toes slightly. Make sure the left toes are pointed and both hip joints spiral into internal rotation. Building a calm state of inner awareness, mindful breath, be mindful of the whole body. Shodisha, inhale, exhale. Sapta disha, inhale, take it up. Asta disha, jump back. Ekuna vim shatihi, inhale, upward facing. Vim shatihi, exhale, downward facing. Jhana shasana A. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Preparing for the right side. Close your right knee joint, drop it out to the side, bringing your heel in close to the groin. Binding your hands around your right foot. Inhale, prepare. Ashto, exhale, fold 
forward. As you fold forward with your torso, pull back from the inner spaces of the pelvis, aligning your sternum forward to the left knee, feeling that external rotation of your right hip joint. Squaring the pelvis as much forward as possible. Breathe, calm, tune into the inner body. Nava, inhale, straight arms, exhale. Hands to the ground, prepare, cross your feet. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Ekadisha, jump all the way back. Wadisha, inhale. Prayogdisha, exhale. Left side, Chikturadisha, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Moving into your shoulders, straightening the legs, preparing for the left side. Close the left knee joint, drop it to the side, heel close to the groin. Wrap your hands around your right foot, inhale, prepare. Panchadisha, exhale, fold. Keeping your attention down into the inner body, right leg is super engaged as you pull into the empty space of the pelvic bowl. Calming the mind, dropping your attention deeply down, gaze forward towards your right toes. Shodisha, inhale, exhale, hands down, cross your feet. Saptadisha, inhale, to get up. Astadisha, jump back, go down. Ekuna, vimshatihi, inhale, vimshatihi, exhale. Janar Shashasana B. Sapta, inhale, jump your hips forward and over the shoulders, slowly moving all the way through. Preparing for this pose by bending the right knee, dropping it out to the side. Pick your hips up and settle the heel on the perineum, in between the genitals and the anus. Reach forward, wrapping your hands around your left foot. Inhale, prepare. Ashto, exhale, fold. And make sure your left sitting bone is off the ground and pay careful attention to that activation deep in the pelvic bowl. Keep sucking the belly as deeply in as you can to protect that left hamstring. Nava, inhale, straight arms, roll back, hands to the ground, cross your feet. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Ekadisha, jump back, chaturanga. Dwadisha, inhale, upward facing. Trayogdisha, exhale, downward facing. Chikturadisha, inhale, jump all the way forward and through, moving through the shoulders, preparing for the left side. Bend the left knee, drop it out to the side, pick the hips up, and remember to settle the pelvis right onto the heel. Wrap your hands around your right foot. Panchadisha, exhale, fold. Keep the belly sucked in. Your sternum lines up with the right knee while that left hip spirals back and down. Make sure the right sitting bone is both elevated and pulling back. Belly sucks in. Make sure the pelvic floor is deeply activated. Shodisha, inhale, straight arms. Exhale, hands to the ground. Saptadisha, inhale, cross your feet, take it up. Astadisha, jump back, chaturanga. Ikuna, vimshatihi, inhale. Vimshatihi, exhale. Janar Shirshasana C. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward, hips over the shoulders, slowly come on through. Bend the right knee, spread the toes, dropping the knee to the side, then get all five toes planted on the ground, rolling through the external rotation of the hip joints. Straighten the arms, inhale, prepare. Ashto, exhale, fold. Never force the right knee down. Instead, let it be however it wants to be. Focus on spiraling through the right ankle, making sure all five toes are on the ground. Reach the heel into the inner regions of the pelvis, maintaining a sense of emptiness behind the pubic bone. Nava, inhale, straight arms, exhale. Dasha, inhale, cross your feet, take it up. Ekadisha, jump back, chaturanga. Dwadisha, inhale, upward facing. Trayogdisha, exhale, downward facing. Left side, chikturadisha, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Preparing for the left side, bend the left knee, left toes on the ground, spiral it out. Slowly working through the ankle, never force the knee. Straighten the arms. Panchadisha, exhale, fold. Drop your attention down into the inner body. Sternum lines up with the right knee, maintaining a sense of emptiness. Squaring the hips forward, belly draws deeply in. 
Remember to accept your foot for wherever it gets to. Never force, never judge. Just be. Shodisha, inhale. Exhale. Hands down. Satta Disha, inhale. Dig it up. Asta Disha, exhale. Jump back. Go down. Ekuna, Vim Shatihi, inhale. Upward facing. Vim Shatihi, exhale. Downward facing. Marichasana A. Sapta, inhale. Jump your hips over the shoulders and prepare to come all the way through. Let it take the time it takes. Bend the right knee up. Roll the right shoulder forward and around. Bend the elbows. Hold your hands behind the back. Prepare. Ashto, exhale. Fold forward. Keep the belly drawn in and as much as you fold forward, keep sending the right hip back and down. Your right sitting bone remains elevated, but keep it grounded. Keep the belly drawn deeply in and internally rotate your shoulders. Avoid dumping your weight over onto the left side. Nava, inhale, come on back up. Exhale, release your hands. Ndasha, inhale, cross your feet, take it up. Ekadisha, jump back, go down. Dwadisha, inhale, upward facing. Trayogdisha, exhale, downward facing. Chakturdisha, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Rolling through the shoulders as you straighten the legs out. Prepare for the left side. Bend the left knee, that little bit of space between the foot and the thigh. Internal rotation of the shoulders, hands hold behind the back. Inhale, prepare. Panchadisha, exhale, fold forward. Keep the belly drawn deeply in as the sternum reaches forward towards the right knee. Send that left hip back. Belly sucks deeper in. Keep the right leg engaged, squaring the hips towards the back as much as possible. Sternum reaches forward to counterbalance backward with the hip. Shodisha, inhale, come up. Exhale. Cross your feet. Sapta disha, inhale, dig it up. Asta disha, exhale, jump back, go down. Ekuna vim shatihi, inhale, upward facing. Vim shatihi, exhale, downward facing. Marichasana B. Sapta, inhale, jumping into the shoulders, crossing the feet, slide it through. Prepare for the right side by starting off with left leg half lotus position. Safely and comfortably move into half lotus. Bend the right knee up, modify if necessary. Drop the right shoulder forward and around, hands behind the back, prepare. Ashto, exhale, fold forward. Both sitting bones will be off the ground as you move the sternum forward and send the hips back. Calming the mind as you tune into the inner body. Drop the chest forward. Belly sucks as deeply in as possible. Lifting the ribs up and over the hips. Nava, inhale. Exhale. Hands down. Cross your feet. Dasha, inhale. Take it up. Ekadasha, jump back. Dwadasha, inhale. Upward facing. Trayogdasha, exhale. Downward facing. Left side. Chaktur Disha, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Let it take the time it takes, use your core, use your shoulders. Right leg half lotus position, modify if necessary. Bend the left knee up into the chest, slide it forward, both sitting bones off the ground. Hands hold behind the back to prepare. Sucking the belly in. Pancha Disha, exhale, fold. Calm, even pace of your breath. You may be feeling tired. Talk to yourself. You can do it. Keep the breath as your center. Keep sucking the belly deeply in. Connecting down into the inner body. Shodisha, inhale. Exhale. Hands down to the ground. Sapta disha, inhale. Cross your feet. Take it up. Asta disha, jump back. Ekuna vim shatihi, inhale. Vim Shatihi, exhale. Marichasana C. Sapta, inhale, jump forward, keeping the weight into the shoulders, slowly all the way through. Bend the right knee up into the body, prepare for the twisting pose. Both sitting bones on the ground for this one. Exhale, as you fold your torso around your thigh, wrapping your left elbow around the right shin, find your fingers, find your wrist, look over the right shoulder. Calm, steady breathing. Don't force. Lift the chest up and away from the hips. And then each time you exhale, draw the rib cage in towards the center line and spiral all the way around. 
Stabilize the left leg, keep it active, root the left heel into the ground, keeping a sense of foundation in your pelvis. Inhale, exhale back to the center. Hands down, cross your feet, ashto, inhale, take it up. Nava, exhale, jump back, go down. Dasha, inhale, upward facing. Ekadisha, downward facing. Left side, prepare. Dwadisha, inhale, jump your hips forward, slide it all the way through. Prepare for the left side. Left knee up into your chest. Exhale, as you fold your torso around to the left side, drop the right elbow around the left shin, internal rotation of the right shoulder. Hold on to your fingers, your wrist. If you get your wrist, you can take those left fingers on the top of the right thigh. Look over the left shoulder, ground both sitting bones. Belly sucks deeply in, lifting the ribs away from the hips, spiraling through the center line. Calm your mind. Keep a sense of endurance, a sense of stamina. Inhale, exhale back to the center. Hands down to the ground, cross your feet. Trayog disha, inhale, take it up. Chiktur disha, jump back. Pancha disha, inhale, upward facing. Show disha, exhale, downward facing. Marichasana D, Sapta, inhale, jump through. Prepare your mind, calming the body. Left leg half lotus position, take it easy, modify the lotus if necessary, right knee up into the chest. You might do this with both sitting bones off the ground, only when you feel the flexibility. Eventually you can wrap your left elbow around the right shin while planting both sitting bones. If you have both sitting bones, do not force the left knee down. Simply use that as your foundation as you spiral through the center line. Calm, steady breathing. Keep your weight pushing forward. So you lift forward and up, maintaining a sense of balance deep in the pelvic bowl. Inhale and exhale. Come on back to the center. Come on out. Hands down, cross your feet. Ashto, inhale, take it up. Nava, jump back, go down. Dasha, inhale, upward facing. Ekadisha, exhale, downward facing. Left side, Dwadisha, inhale, jump forward into your shoulders, come on all the way through, preparing for the left side, which means right leg half lotus position, slowly move through that external rotation, bend the left knee up into your chest, both sitting bones on the ground only when you're ready, otherwise come forward, and then exhale as you fold your torso around the outer edge of your left thigh, wrapping the right elbow around the left shin, hold your finger or your wrists gazing over the left side it's a little harder to breathe here but try anyway lengthen and elongate your breath keeping the breath even and equal in pace and measure calming the mind forgive yourself however you did that was great for today hands down inhale cross your feet take it up Chikturadisha, jump back, go down. Panchadisha, inhale. Shodisha, exhale. Navasana, sapta, inhale. Jump your hips over the shoulders. Slowly slide it all the way through. Legs right up, arms up. Hands, same height as the shoulders, gates towards your toes. Belly sucks in. Keep a calm, happy, joyful spirit. Tuning into the inner body. Keep the belly sucking deep in. Hands down, Ashto, inhale, take it up. Sapta again, Navasana. This is the boat pose. Be sure not to let your boat sink. Belly sucks as deeply in as you can, making space behind your pubic bone. Calming the mind. If there's any shaking or burning in the muscles, no problem. Hands down, Ashto, inhale, pick it up. Sapta again, Navasana. Calm, steady breathing. Allow a sense of joy. Enjoy the challenge. Never judge yourself. Just practice with a sense of equanimity, a sense of grace, peace, and harmony. Belly sucks in. Hands down. Ashto. Inhale. Pick it up. Sapta again. Navasana. Here we go. Straighten the legs. Use your thighs by pulling the thigh bones deeply into their sockets. Keep the belly sucked in. Straight arms, straight legs. No cheating. Don't go down. You can do it. Calm, even breath. Hands down, Ashto, inhale, pick it up. Sapta again, Navasana. 
calm, even breath. Here we go. You can do it. Talk to yourself. Feel your hips grounding, the belly sucking in, the legs lengthening, joy coming into your heart. Hands down. Ashto. Inhale. Pick it up. Sapta again. Last time. Navasana. Belly sucks in. You can do it. Straighten the legs. Don't give up. Talk to yourself. Remain calm. Keep the mind steady. Hands down. Ashto. Inhale. Pick it up. Nava. Jump back. Go down. Dasha, inhale, upward facing. Ekadisha, exhale, downward facing. Bhuja Pidasana. Sapta, inhale, jump your hips over the shoulders, slowly wrapping your thighs around the outer edges of the upper arms. Cross your feet. Ashto, exhale, send the chin down, shoulders forward, hips back. Calm the mind, gaze at the nose tip. Keep the hips a little lifted, belly in, shoulders firm. Nava, inhale, pick it up. Dasha, exhale, Bakasana. Ekadasha, jump back. Dwadasha, inhale, upward facing. Trayudasha, exhale, downward facing. Kurmasana position. Sapta, inhale, jump the hips over the shoulders again. Slowly moving the thighs onto the outer edges of the arms. And slowly exhale, flattening down. Make sure you get the elbows beyond the thighs. Squeeze your thighs on top of the shoulders. Spread your collarbone. Kurmasana position. After you feel settled, lift the heels and then lift the hips by sending the hips back. Keep squeezing the thighs inward. Engage the quadriceps and press your shoulders down. Protect the collarbone. Relax. Coming into Supta Kurmasana, you can either sit up, taking your left leg first behind your head, slowly moving around, and then the right leg reaches back and around. Let your feet do the work as they cross over each other. Once the feet are crossed, then slowly exhale as you lower yourself back down to the ground, forehead down. Ashto, lock back your hands, and Nava, lock your feet. You can interlock your fingers, grab your wrist whichever feels a firmer grip. Once you feel stable in the pose, you can point your toes. If your feet start to slide off after you point the toes, flex them again. Find a sense of calm, relax, breathe, tune into the inner body, calming the mind, drop your attention deeply down. Find a sense of rest, flex your feet again, hands to the ground, pick it back up. Walk your hands back, dasha, inhale, pick it up, keeping the feet crossed. After you lift it up, release your feet as you slowly come into balance. Ekadisha, exhale as you slowly roll through the hips back to Bakasana position. Dwadisha, jump back. Trayudisha, inhale, upward facing. Chikturdisha, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, jump through. Straight legs, sit down. Ashto, cross your feet, taking lotus position. Close your knee joint, that's right foot first, left foot on top, moving into Karpa Pindasana. Move your thighs into your body, and then reach your hands through that space between your calf muscle and your thigh, one and then the other. Taking the hands under the chin, reaching the fingers towards the ears. Balance. Make sure you balance on the space between your tailbone and your sitting bones, curling the spine slightly under. Gaze at the nose tip, calming the mind, little smile. Belly sucks in, here we go. Nava rounding, exhale back, inhale, roll up. Exhale back, inhale, roll up. Steer from the hips, back and up. Steer from the hips, roll back. Take it up, little turning. Come on all the way back to the front. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, roll all the way up, hands down. Nava, inhale, kukutasana. Shoulders forward, hips back and up. Use your lower abs to press it up. Squeeze the fingertips, gaze at the nose tip. Really lift it up and forward as you roll through the shoulders. Suck the belly as deeply in as you can. Exhale down. Take the hands out, keep your lotus if that's possible. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Ekadisha, exhale, jump back. Dwadisha, inhale, upward facing. Trayudisha, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward. Bhada Konasana. Come on through. Prepare by bringing the heels into the body, knees out to the side. Keep the heels close to the groin. 
Then reach forward, thumbs onto the mounds of the big toe, spread your feet. Ashto, exhale, fold forward by sending your pubic bone back. Think about pulling the shoulders back, elbows back and up, knees out to the side, and rolling the hip joints back and down. Keeping the back as straight as possible, pivoting from the hip joints as you fold forward. Opening the soles of the feet upwards towards the inner space of the pelvis. Nava, inhale, come up. Dasha, exhale, Badakonasana B. Round your back. Curl the sitting bones under. Curl the tailbone under. Pull the pubic bone into the navel and round the back. Top of the head to the toes. Gaze into the pelvic bowl and keep it nice and empty. E, Kadesha, inhale, come up. Exhale there, firm the pelvic floor. Knees come back into the center. Hands to the ground. Dwadesha, inhale to get up. Trayogdisha, jump back. Chakturadisha, inhale, upward facing. Panchadisha, exhale, downward facing. Upavishta Konasana, Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward, coming through. Spread your legs apart into a V shape. Reach around to the outer edges of your feet. Ashto, exhale, go down. Aiming your shoulders your chest, your chin, or your forehead to the ground, but never pull on your feet. Instead, simply let it happen however it wants to happen, however deeply your body chooses to permit you today. Keep the legs engaged, pelvic floor inside, arms are soft, gaze at the nose tip. Firm your pelvic floor. Tuning into the inner body, calming the mind. Nava, inhale. Exhale, release your feet, lean back. Dasha, inhale, pick it up, holding on to the outer edges of your feet, spread your legs and balance. Keep the belly sucked in, look all the way up, lift your chest powerfully up. Calm, steady breathing, spread your legs, hands down to the ground, cross your feet. E, Kadesha, inhale, take it up. Dwadesha, jump back. Dryogdisha, inhale, upward facing. Chiktur, Disha, exhale, downward facing. Supta Konasana, Sapta, inhale, jump forward, weight into the shoulders, slide it all the way through, exhale, lie down. Ashto, inhale, legs over your head, hold on to your big toes and spread your feet as wide apart as the distance of your shoulders will permit. Curl your toes under and press the toes into the ground, keep the hips lifted up feeling a sense of emptiness in the pelvic bowl. Calm, steady mind, gaze at the nose tip. Preparing to roll through the whole spine, bring your attention through each of the joints of the spine. Nava, inhale, roll all the way up and exhale gently down. Dasha, inhale, lift the head up, exhale from your pelvic floor. Hands to the ground, cross your feet. E, Kadesha, inhale, take it up. Dwadesha, jump back. Trayogdisha, inhale. Chakturadisha, exhale. Supta Parangustasana, Supta, inhale, jump through. Straight legs, lie down. Hands on your thighs. Ashto, inhale, right leg up. Nava, exhale, fold your chin to your shin, lift it up, use your abs, left leg is straight. Belly sucks deeply in, calm the mind, use your strength. Dasha, inhale, head down. E, Kadesha, exhale, bring your right leg to the side through external rotation of your right hip joint. Keep the belly sucked in, look to the left. Keep the mind calm, regulate the pace of your breath. Left leg is straight. Dwadesha, inhale. Trayogdesha, exhale. Chakturadesha, inhale, head down. Panchadesha, exhale, leg down. Shodesha, inhale, left side. Saptadesha, exhale, lift up. Lift as high as you can. Calm, steady breathing. Straightening that right leg. Tune into the inner body. Astadesha, inhale, head down. Ekuna vim, shatahi, exhale. Bring your leg down, out to the side. Look over the right shoulder. Keep the mind steady and calm. Right leg super engaged. Pelvis grounded, belly inside. 
find that external rotation of the left hip joint. Vim Shatihi, inhale to the center. Eka Vim Shatihi, exhale, lift up. Dva Vim Shatihi, inhale, head down. Trio Vim Shatihi, exhale, leg down. Hands under your shoulders. Chato Vim Shatihi, inhale, Chakrasana, backwards roll. Roll through the spine, come on all the way over. Walk it forward, back to plank. And exhale, Chaturanga. Pancha Vim Shatihi, inhale, upward facing. Shat Vim Shatihi, exhale, downward facing. Ubaya Padangustasana, Supta, inhale, jump forward into your shoulders, slowly down. And exhale, lie down. Ashto, inhale, bring your legs over the top of the head, feet together, hold on to your big toes. Exhale there. Nala, inhale, roll right up. Balance, point your toes, look up. Straight arms, straight legs. Belly sucks in, root it down into the inner space of the pelvis. Keep the mind calm, keep emptiness behind the pubic bone. Deep, steady breathing. Keep a sense of inner awareness, regulating the breath. Hands down to the ground. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Eka, dasha, jump back. Dwa, dasha, inhale, upward facing. Thrayo, dasha, exhale, downward facing. Urdhva Mukha Pashimatanasana. Sapta, inhale, jump forward. Come on all the way through. And exhale, lie down. Ashto, inhale, both legs over your head. Hold on to the outsides of the feet near your heels. Exhale there. Nava, inhale, roll up. Balance, straight arms, straight legs. Bend, dasha, exhale. Bend your elbows. Bring your chin to your shins. Gazing upwards towards your toes. Pull the heads of the femurs down into their sockets. Folding the rib cage in towards the center line. Elbows down, shoulders down. Let the strength come from your core. Calm, steady mind. Ikadasha, inhale, straight arms. Exhale there, firm the pelvic floor. Hands down to the ground. Dwa, desha, inhale, to get up. Prayog, desha, jump back. Chaktur, desha, inhale, upward facing. Pancha, desha, exhale, downward facing. Setu, bandhasana. Sapta, inhale, jump through. Exhale, lie down. Last pose of the primary series. Congratulations, we're almost done. Bend your knees, feet apart, heels together. Arch your back, coming onto the top of your head. Hold the shoulders and press into the hips. Ashto, prepare. Nala, inhale, take it up. Roll through the upper back, rolling all the way through the neck. Lifting up through the upper back and send your hips up and forward. Think about a long, deep bridge. Then dasha, exhale down, flatten your spine. Hands under your shoulders, prepare for chakrasana. Eka dasha, inhale, gently roll through the spine all the way over. Walk it back to plank, stabilize from the shoulders. Exhale, lower down. Dwa disha, inhale, upward facing. Trayog disha, exhale, downward facing. Urdhva Dhanirasana. Sapta, inhale, jump through, back bending. Exhale, lie down. Ashto, prepare, bend your knees. Taking the hands right under the shoulders. Here we go. Nava, inhale, come on onto your head. Taking the hands and then all the way up. Bring your chest out over your hands, moving through a gentle internal rotation of your hip joints. Make space by lifting your ribs away from your hips. Always look for your back bend to feel good. Walk your hands in towards your feet, only if your back bend feels good. Calming the mind, never force the back. Dasha, exhale down. Walk your hands next to your head, then Nava, inhale, come on back up. Send the hips up and forward. Pull the rib cage away from the hips. Use your back muscles to use the space that you create between each of the joints of the spine. Rolling the thighs towards each other, looking down, and slowly moving your hands closer towards your feet. Moving your head down. Dasha, exhale down. Nava, inhale, pick it up. Last one. Slowly move through an internal rotation of the hip joints, rooting down into the bases of your big toes. Walk gently in, possibly touching your fingertips towards your heels. Belly sucks as deeply in as you can, then inhale, come on up. We'll move into drop backs. Move your feet parallel, hips width apart. Inhale and exhale. Roll through the spine, maximizing the space between the ribs and the hips. And then slowly exhale, bend your knees, drop back. 
Inhale slowly, come on back up. Moving through the motion fluidly. Exhale, drop all the way back through each of the joints of the spine. Inhale, shift the hips forward, come on back up. Inhale, create space by lifting the ribs away from the hips. And exhale, gently drop back, bending the knees, lowering down. Inhale, come on right back up. Exhale, drop back. Inhale, come on right back up. Bring your feet together, samasthitihi. A, come inhale, arms up. And away, exhale, fold forward. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, exhale, jump back, chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shut, exhale, downward facing. Pashimadhanasana, sapta, inhale, jump through, straight leg, sit down. Reach your hands, hold the hands, ashto, inhale. Nava, exhale, fold forward, fold into the inner space of the body. Belly sucks deeply in. Your torso moves forward while the hips shift slightly back. Engage the legs deeply and allow your attention to turn inward. Begin to lengthen and elongate the breath. Whereas every other pose, you've stayed for five breaths. This posture, Paschimottanasana, deep forward fold. Stay for ten deep breaths. And keep dropping your attention down into the inner body. Reset the nervous system after back bending. Calm, even, equanimous mind. Spreading the toes, engaging the legs, turning your attention deeply inward. Let every breath be deeper. Dasha, inhale, straight arms. Exhale, hands to the ground, cross your feet. Ekadisha, inhale, take it up. Dwadisha, jump back. Trayog disha, inhale, upward facing. Chiktur disha, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Exhale, lie down. We prepare for the closing poses. Bring your feet close together. Leave your hands near your hips. First of the closing poses, Sarvangasana. Ashto, inhale, lift right up into shoulder stand. Hands to the lower back, aligning yourself along the center line. Drawing the thighs in towards each other. Stack the hips over the shoulders and stack the legs right over the hips. Feel the center line. Use a deep activation of the pelvic floor to keep a sense of up through the pelvis. Make sure that your neck is a little bit lifted off the ground and you're pressing your shoulders into the ground, letting this be a true shoulder stand. Suck the belly in, engage your quadriceps, and deepen and elongate your breath. Ashto Halasana, point your feet, interlocking your fingers, straightening the arms down. Keep the legs straight and think about straightening the spine as you lift the hips up. Belly sucks in. Tune into the inner body. Dropping your attention down. Calming the mind. Halasana, the plow pose. Karna Pidasana. Bend the knees, squeezing the knees onto the ears. Rounding the back. You'll notice in this pose, the back rounds as the tailbone tucks under. The knees really squeeze towards the ears. Keep the heels and the bases of the big toes together. The arms stay straight behind the back. Fingers interlocked. Keep the breath deep. Hands to the lower back. Inhale, come on back up to shoulder stand. Ashto, take lotus position. The Nava, inhale. Wardva Padmasana, almost like Padmasana, but upside down. Lift your Padmasana by holding your knees from underneath, wrapping your fingers around the knees, straightening the elbows. Let this still be a shoulder stand, so you're still pressing your shoulders into the ground, keeping the hips back and up. Let the belly stay as deeply sucked in as possible. Tuning into the inner body. Nava, exhale, Pindasana. Sucking in the belly, round the back. Remember to make space by drawing in from behind the pubic bone. Aim the shin bones to the eyebrow center to really feel that roundedness through the whole spine. Lengthen and elongate the breath. Hands down. 
slowly lower yourself down, keeping your lotus. Use your elbows to come on up. Matsyasana, the fish pose. Hands hold on to your lotus feet, straightening the arms. And then press your Padmasana, your lotus, towards the ground. Don't force the knees, just let it slowly shift forward. Staying here for a total of eight deep breaths. Finding a sense of inner connection. Reaching through the inner body. Calm, steady breathing. Moving into Uttana Padasana. Lift the legs. Lift the hands. Pivoting into the hip joints. Make sure that the hands and the feet are in parallel position. Sucking in the belly. Pivoting into the hip joints. Keeping the spine arched. Avoid the temptation to change the hand position or to change the head position. Then keeping the legs up. Flatten the spine. Dasha. Inhale. Chakrasana. Roll back all the way over through the spine, then walk it forward to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Ekadasha, inhale, upward facing. Dwadasha, exhale, downward facing. Come to your knees, Shirshasana, headstand. Sapta, prepare, interlock your fingers, top of the head on the ground, elbows down. Ashto, inhale, lift up to Shirshasana, headstand. Find your alignment through the center line by drawing the thighs in towards each other. Keep the tailbone ever so slightly tucked under. Rib cage drawn in towards the center. Belly sucks deeply in. Press your elbows. Guruji always said headstand means strong shoulders. So stabilize the shoulders as much as you can. Activate the deltoids. Keep as much space as possible between the shoulders and the ears. Belly sucks in towards the center line. Keep lifting the hips. After you find the balance of headstand, it becomes almost a meditative pose where you can just surrender into headstand, Shir Shasana, with as minimal activation as necessary, appropriate activation, don't overactivate your headstand, remember to find the equanimous mind, a place of equal balance, a place where you tune in to the center, belly sucks in, avoid arching the spine or tucking too much under, regulate the breath, deepen the breath, and slowly exhale, pivoting in through the hips, Nava, gently down. Halfway balance, here we stay for about 10 breaths, suck in the belly, shift the hips back for the half headstand, this counterbalance, bringing blood and circulation equally through the body, belly sucks deeply in, shoulders are nice and stable, calming the mind. Then slowly inhale, come on back up to headstand. We'll go for Urdhva Shirshasana. We lift the head off of the ground, tucking the chin under, lifting all the way up, transferring the weight forward into the elbows. Gaze shifts all the way up to the toes. Then exhale, place the head down. Find your... Calming the mind. Then hands forward, let's step it back to plank. A Kadisha, exhale, Chaturanga. Dwa Disha, inhale, upward facing. Prayog Disha, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Straight legs, sit down. Take your Padmasana position. Ashtu, exhale, Padha Padmasana. Lotus position, bound lotus position, bind your Padmasana. Hands behind your back, hold your feet. Yoga mudra, nava, exhale, go down. 
Shoulders stay in internal rotation, hands towards the feet, chin down, gaze at the nose tip. Ten deep breaths. Suck the belly as deeply in as possible, finding emptiness behind the pubic bone, calming the mind. Tune into the inner body. Keep a subtle sensation underneath the skin, deep in the center of the body. Regulate the pace of your breath. Calm, even breath. Inhale, come all the way up. Dasha, exhale, take your hands down, Padmasana position. Tips of the index fingers and the thumbs pressed into each other. Chin down, gaze at the nose tip. Breathe as deeply as possible. Let the resonance, the power, and the sound of the breath fill you. Keep the chest slightly elevated, belly sucks in. Pelvic floor is super active, almost like you're charging yourself up from the inside. Padmasana position in the lotus pose, keeping a sense of stillness deep into the inner body. Every inhalation makes space, every exhalation lets you dive down deeper within. Deeply with the mind, enter the inner body. Find a sense of humility, a sense of ease, a sense of grace. Let the culmination of the practice prepare you for that one final pose, which is coming soon. Gazing at the nose tip. Finding a sense of deep inner awareness. Lengthening each breath. Make sure inhalation and exhalation are even and equal to each other. Feel the center line, feel the spine. Keeping the equanimous mind. Prepare now for Utlu Tihi. Sprung up position. Shoulders forward, hips back and up. Ekadisha, inhale, take it up. Gaze at your nose tip. Here we go. You can do it. Push up from the shoulders, pick it back up from your core. Use your lower abs. Find that strength from behind your pubic bone. Exactly when you feel like you cannot do any more. Push through there. Exactly at the point where you want to quit. Keep it up just a little bit more. You can do it. If you go down, pick it right back up. Shoulders forward, hips back and up. Keep pressing up from the shoulders. Belly sucks in. Hook the toes under. Dwa disha. Exhale, chaturanga. Prayu disha. Inhale. Chiktur disha. Exhale. Pancha disha. Inhale, jump forward. Keeping the hips forward, shodisha, exhale, fold forward, straight legs, go down, samasthitihi, come on back up, hands in prayer. Prepare for the closing prayer. Swasti prajadhyaha paripalayantam yaye namarkena mahim mahishaha Go Brahmane Vyaha, Shiva Mastanityam, Logaha, Samasaha, Sukhino Bhavantu.